right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over a story titled, My Fiancé Wants to Have a Hall Pass or Open Relationship, and I'm Conflicted. And guys, this is yet another story, and it's amazing how common these are nowadays. Young guy with his girl for six years, three months, three months before they're supposed to get married, out of the blue, she sits down, sits him down and have a talk, and wants to have a hall pass, both her and him, to go out and do whatever they want, so they can get a lot of experience, have a lot of fun, and bring it back to make the relationship better, and then get married. How many times have I laid out stories just like this? And how do they usually work out? Not very well. And this guy, he's conflicted. Doesn't know what to do. Well, I can say he doesn't know what to do at the end of this, the story which I'm going to go into. Because you're going to see, unfortunately, because he's young and experienced, and, well, let's be honest, most guys are clueless, goes along with this. And you're going to see, to no surprise, it is Sausage Central for her. She is Little Miss Sausage. Little Miss Sausage Queen. He's having a little fun, but not not anywhere close to the kind of fun she's having. And he's conflicted. And I'm doing this, guys, for lots of reasons. Once again, to show these things don't work out. And the big mess that leads to. And again, nowadays, it's so common. So for you guys to do relationships, and it seems like more and more you guys aren't doing relationships for very good reasons. For those that you are, and your girl brings this subject up one day, whether because you're in a relationship for a while, or you're about to be engaged, or if you're married. And she brings this up. You know what to do. You never, ever, ever, ever agree to this. Because you're going to get hurt. And the second she brings this thing up, it is over. Okay? Because think about this. If she really loved you, do you think she'd want some other woman's hands all over you? Or you know what all over you? No. If she really loved you, do you think she want other dude sausages in the many different orifices that she has? No. She doesn't give a shit. But this is our Sam Gabor 2.0 world. So I'm doing this to you guys to be prepared. And before I do this, guys, real quick, I got a quick email from a subscriber. I wanted to thank me for my work. Every once in a while, I like to read these things before I go into the story. This guy says here, he says, uh, Hey, the rest of SM. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a very big fan of your videos. Love, do love doing work around my house and lounging around listening to the various stories that you cover. My own experience with women have been very, very few. But I've had some smackable moments with them, especially when I turned 18 going into college. Bro, you were young. I'm 23 now, and I'm proud I'm in my prime of my life. After seeing what has been portrayed in the media, on television, and seeing the real world, I don't think dating will be in the cards for me, at least not for now. Who knows what the future holds, but right now I'm focusing on me. I just want to thank you for the messages you share and the wisdom you give men around the world. You're one of, my, one of the people making a better place and teaching men that they matter. Thank you. You're welcome, brother. But you see that, guys, what he said there? He's focusing on himself. He's not interested in dating right now. Down the road, who knows? He's being honest there because you never know. But right now, he's focusing on himself. And that is the best thing a young guy can do in his 20s. Because the choices you make, probably between 16 years old and 25, pretty much is going to set the course of your life in terms of how well you do in high school, which can lead to you going to good college if you do that, or making a, going into a trade, picking the right trade, working hard, whether in school or at that trade, to, do, to excel, become the best you can be. Also, let's be honest, when you're young, if you ride the if you uh, ride the clam carousel, get some girl pregnant, that's going to change your life trajectory real quick. Also, uh, things about your health, putting away money, Experience, all that stuff. Your early 20s, your, your, especially your early 20s, you get out of school, focus on you. Focus on your career, whatever that may be. Mastering whatever it is that you're doing, living cheap, putting away money, investing it, building wealth, because the younger you are, the more money you put away and invest it in the right places you feel comfortable with, whatever that may be, the more it has time to grow over the decades. You'll be so much happier. So good for this guy. I like what I hear. You know, working everything in his life, personal life, both both physical and mental and emotional. And down the road, if he uh, wants to go down that path with, with uh, relationships or whatever, knock yourself out. At least he'll be armed and dangerous with all this good knowledge. And he'll be light years ahead of the average guy that makes girls his top priority, makes girls his purpose. Because you all know what happens when, when a guy makes a girl his purpose. It doesn't end well for him. And interestingly, they all chase after the guys that don't make them their purpose. 
But anyhow, that was a real quick little thing I want to read. So, on to the story. And again, this is titled, Fiance Wants to Have a Hall Pass, an Open Relationship, and I'm Conflicted. He says here, my, uh, I'm 24 and my fiance is 23. My fiance and I have been together for over six years. We have a house together, two dogs, and we're getting married next month. Two months ago, she brought up the idea. She brought up how she was feeling about all this. Was considering us both having hall passes so we could experience other people and bring some possible new things we learned in our, into our bedroom. So, you telling me that you can't go on online and Google P O R N Hub or other other state other uh, sites and watch videos to get good ideas to try out in the bedroom. But she's selling him on this idea like, uh, yeah, go get experiences out there and bring it back to us. Meanwhile, she's dying for some sausage. She's getting married in three months. Three months. Talk about the 11th hour here. And she wants to go get a bunch of sausage. She knows this guy, in her mind, isn't going anywhere. I mean, can you imagine your average guy telling an average gal three months before they get married that he wants to go there and hook up with a bunch of girls before they get married? How do you think she'd react to that? Not too well. And yet, somehow in these stories, these girls bring it up. I did one a few weeks ago about a guy. Same thing happened three months before the wedding. So he had been watching my channel for a while. And he was older. And he kicked her ass to the curb, which was awesome. You all remember that story. But this guy's younger. Never, ever accept that. It's done. It's over. <clears throat> I'm her first, and she's my second hookup, which I don't believe. I was really hesitant and uncomfortable, but I agreed. Smack. Never agree, young brother. It's over. She didn't love you enough. She truly loved you. She wanted some other woman touching you and would have won freaking sausage from other dudes. We both use our hall passes and she enjoys it and had fun. I'm sure she did. I enjoyed mine too, but I didn't have as much fun as she did and I was ready to be done. She says how she doesn't necessarily want to stop. Shocker. If I want her, if I want her to, she will, but she's having fun and wants to keep doing what we are doing. Again, I reluctantly agree and we go forward. Smack. Dude, she's walking all over you. She knows the relationship's more important to you than to her. She knows you're not going anywhere. She has your number, young brother. Never allow that. And by the way, the clock is ticking to the wedding date. So how long is this going to go on? Is this are they going to get married? She's going to keep this shit up. What self-respecting guy is going to allow his girl, not to mention his fiance, so to be wife, hooking up with other dudes? She doesn't give a shit about you. Come on. <clears throat> we set up ground rules and to give this a go. Over time, she's been seeing this, this guy a total of three times, and each time she does it hard for me to wrap my head around and feel comfortable with. My partner had surgery, so I couldn't do anything until next week. As in his his partner, his girlfriend, he's having fun with. She's out of commission, so he's not getting any. Honestly, I don't want to keep doing this, and I just want our SEX lives to be with each other. We have a good SEX life. We're intimate often, and we satisfy each other, and we both bring new ideas into the bedroom, so things don't get too boring. Well, it isn't just about making things exciting with you. It's about her being excited by having the thrill and excitement of other dudes wanting her and all that. Not to mention all the drama here. She said before that, <clears throat> if I asked her, we would end things. But I think one of the main things that bothers me is that she'll only stop because I want her to, not because she wants to. Or at the very least, she'll want to stop because she sees how uncomfortable I am with everything. But I don't think that's the case. I'm worried she'll grow to resent me for making her stop. And I don't want that to be a problem in our relationship. Well, she will resent you. Th this guy is in a... He can't win in this situation. The only way he can win is break up with her and move on, which I'll get more, more to later. Because they stay together. If they keep doing what they're doing, he's miserable and looking like a fool. If uh, he tells her to stop, and, and she's going to be resentful, pissed off at him, and she's going to do it anyway. She told me she doesn't need this, and it was just for us both to have some fun. I'm not sure what to do here. Should I put an end to this arrangement and risk her resentment? Or should I change it just to, just to sending pictures and flirting with other people but no SEX? Or should I keep on the course and hopefully become more okay with the situation? Maybe because my partner has been out of commission, I've been a bit jealous. I don't know. What do you think, what do you think for reading this so far? 
Okay, so again, smack for allowing this. But uh, I'm going to break this all down and I'm going to share some comments. Number one, you're both too freaking young to get married. 23, 24, no. That was one thing in, I'm 44 years old, soon to be 45 soon. That was one thing in our grandparents' generation to get married that young. But nowadays, no freaking way. Kids these days, and I can't believe I'm actually saying that because now I'm old. Kids these days of that age range, getting out of college, they have the maturity level of a bunch of freaking high school kids back in my day. Okay, there's no way to prepare for the adult things that are out there right now. I mean, come on. This is the generation of uh, participation trophies and everybody's so magical and special. This is the generation that had like a preschool graduation and a kindergarten graduation and an elementary school graduation and a middle school graduation and a high school graduation. You follow me here. Everybody's so special. Okay, you're not prepared for the world, let alone something serious like marriage. And you can see here she is not prepared for that either. Three months for the wedding, she wants to go hook up with other dudes. Now, there's a mistake that they were together all that time. And obviously, a guy can have a girl that he's with a number of years and be young and probably stay with her and fine. But a girl, she's going to have pair bonding issues as she starts hooking up with all these other dudes. And there's this argument, this idea that, okay, if a girl, she gets together with a guy when she's young and she's a virgin, then everything will be fine, no problem whatsoever. And I've always called bullshit on that because nowadays, in today's environment, they're going to be wondering because they're guaranteed they have one girlfriend that's riding the carousel, getting attention on Instagram and social media and all that shit. And she's going to wonder what that's like too. And sooner or later, she's going to want it, either through open relationship or cheating. So that whole get a girl young and she's a virgin or, or whatever and start the relationship early on, no problem whatsoever. That's bullshit. This proves it again right here. But uh, too young, it's not going to work. Number two, she already no doubt had guys lined up. When girls ask for the open relationship, open marriage, they almost always have a guy, at least one guy, if not many, already lined up, ready to hook up with. And I guarantee the second he agreed to this. Reluctantly, she was on her phone, tap, 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 telling Bob or, or John to come on over and have some fun. She was cheating. She, this is just permission to cheat. Number three, as I said before, she doesn't love you. If she truly loved you, she wouldn't want some other woman touching you, and she wouldn't want other guys touching you. And, and she knew darn well it would be a lot easier for her to get dudes than for this guy to get girls. So she was counting on that. And she knew darn well that you weren't going anywhere, which proven right. You haven't gone anywhere. Another one, as I said before, I'm, I'm going down a list here because I wrote this shit down. You should never agree to something you don't want to. When a guy goes along with something he doesn't want to do, that's weak. Women don't respect weakness. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Common theme to all these stories is these guys act weak. And the women step out and act like assholes and all that because the guy's acting like a pussy. Women don't respect men that act like pussies. A masculine man would never tolerate this shit, and she never would have asked for it because she respected him. Okay? You don't accept this, because if you do, she's going to lose more respect for you. There'll be more bullshit down the road. Best thing he can do, in my opinion, is break up with her. End the relationship. No get married in a month. No prenups. You know, on the basis that, well, if it doesn't work out, we get a divorce. No. He shouldn't be with her at all. Because, again, she doesn't love him. And even if he drew a line in the sand and said, that's it, we're going to stay together, but you're not going to do that anymore, she'll resent him. Because she got a taste, no pun intended, of what's out there. And now she's going to be thinking about all that and will miss that attention she was getting and all that. It's only a matter of time before she'll, before she'll cheat. And he's always going to be wondering. He's never going to trust her. <clears throat> so my opinion is, end it. Break up with her, move on. And when you move on, you take it day by day. Just like all these guys have been burning these stories, one day at a time. Fuck it. One hour at a time, you got to do it. One hour at a time, then one day at a time, move on. Hang out with your bros, focus on school or the gym, whatever you do. Hang out with family members. Cut off with her, and in time you will heal. Because it's not going to work out. It is not. She's not ready for that. She's not in love with you. She's too mature. And I might add that you stay with her, this shit is going to happen. This is not wife material. And I might, might add the last one, never take her back. Because if this guy laid down the law with her and said no more of this stuff, and she probably said, fine, we're breaking up, or if he broke up with her, guaranteed she'd be back down the road when things didn't work out with Chad and Tyrone that she's having fun with, and she'll want to get back with him because he's the safety net. He's the nice guy that she knows that will always be there, okay? He cannot take her back. She's got a blocker, social media, 
email, phone, whatever. Don't talk to her at all. Because she'll know the buttons to push with this guy. She'll put on the waterworks. I'm so sorry. I was confused. That type of horse shit. And they'll be like, okay. And then he'll marry her. And we'll be back to square one. Guarantee. Cut it off with her completely. So, now, I got a few comments here from different people that show I'm not alone in the thinking here. Who knows if this guy will see this, this, this story here? Most of them don't. I've had a few situations where I've done videos on guys' stories they post online. And they write me, telling me, thank you. And thank all you guys for commenting away. So you never know. One guy says, this is from a woman. A woman says, yes, OMG, cancel the wedding. I get married in a few, I get married in a few weeks too. And I really, really advise the OP, you do not marry this person. They're trying to send you a message. My friend did this to her new husband and then divorced him a year later. Of course, everyone is different, but I would really want you to think this through. Exactly. Another guy says, I understand you don't want her to develop any resentment, but what about yourself? Staying put in this situation will no doubt lead to you developing resentments of your own, and that is not something to neglect. It sounds like your ambivalence resolves around not wanting to upset your wife. Well, it's his fiance. But I don't think you're okay with this arrangement at all, and how could you be? On the eve of your marriage, you find yourself allowing your fiance to begin reversing everything that, that felt secure and nurturing about your relationship emotionally and sexually. People in these replies may say she's gaslighting you or you fell for her bullshit. But you have to take some responsibility in this too. This is your emotional well-being that is at stake. Yeah. In other words, you matter too. It isn't all about her. But unfortunately, the narrative is, which has been beaten into guys' heads over and over and over again since they were young enough to watch movies and television, is the guy should sacrifice all his happiness, everything, to make her happy. And interestingly enough, he never makes her happy. Guy has to put himself first. Always. Put yourself first and always check her. Those are the two things that the bad boys always do and two things the nice guys never do. And it's interesting that the gals chase after the bad boys. He matters. You matter if you're watching this. Now the guy says here, she didn't want a hall pass. She knew a guy that has wanted to F her for a long time and tricked and manipulated you into letting her do it. Ding, ding, ding. You think that since you think that since she let you bang some women, that makes it completely okay to disregard your feelings. She knows, dude, and keep effing her crush. She basically created a situation where she gets to cheat and be with the dude she is lusting after, and you have to pretend to be okay with it. Right. He was never okay with it. But he didn't want to lose her. That's really what it was all about. And she's evil. She's evil for doing that, taking advantage of this guy. Now the guy says, I think you need to end it if you're not comfortable with it. I really don't like the fact that your partner, as you call it, is cheating on his girlfriend. That tells me your fiance doesn't care what kind of hurt this may cause. Yeah, she doesn't give a shit about this guy's feelings. All she cares about is her feelings. And last one, he says here, notice she keeps seeing the same guy. All this hall pass thing is right now is sanctioning cheating. She's going to leave you eventually. Or if you ask her to stop, she won't stop. Or will for a while, but eventually will come to resent you. Get a prenup if you intend on staying, but be prepared for Fala if you ask her to stop, which uh, I recommend because it's effing you up, my dude, and you deserve much better than that. A freaking men. Ordinarily, a lot of times I say, if you're going to do it anyway, then do this, this, and this, like get a prenup or whatever, but no. Break up with her, move on, okay? You're young. This dude is 24 years old. He has his life ahead of him. In the intro, I did that thing about that guy. He sent me an email. And he's 23, 24, I think he's 23. And I said, you got your whole life ahead of you. This is the time to focus on yourself. This young guy here, if he's 24, he's with her for six years and get married soon, I guarantee you she's been his purpose. She's been the top priority for him. And that is a mistake. This guy's 24, his whole life ahead of him. 20 freaking years younger than me, okay? This guy is obviously going to be hurt. He, he, I'm sure he'll feel like a fool having to break up the, the, the wedding and explain to everybody. But it's far better than being married to someone like that. Because his life's going to be miserable. And they will end up in divorce eventually. Anyway, guaranteed freaking tea. Move on. It'll be hard, but rip the band-aid off and move on. Take it day by day. Be with the people that care about you, young brother, and you're going to be all right. But do not marry her. End of story. So guys, like I said at the beginning, you're in a relationship. And you, your girl suddenly brings this up. You know what to do. Or you're married. And your wife brings this up because her girlfriend suddenly are starting to do the same thing or talk about it. She's bored. Her girlfriends are bored. They need some drama in their life, like an open relationship, open marriage. She brings it up. You know what to do. That's why I do these videos. 
All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let this guy know what you think. Who knows? He may see this video. You never know. Comment away. It will definitely help him out. And let me tell you guys, when I do these stories, whether the ones I find online or the ones that you guys write in, nowadays the majority of the videos I do are you guys writing in, it really does help the world. These guys say all the time, I'll get emails from guys saying, SSM, because of you and, and your viewers, because they ain't just me, you guys sharing your stories in the comment section or, or offering pieces of advice, because I can meet guys from all walks of life, all over the world, different religions, different cultures, different age. You really do help these guys out. And you guys have helped dudes out so much that it stopped them from making major mistakes. So please, comment away. We'll help guys out. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.